What they've got to hide is their affiliation and control of all these foreign policies organizations. See, we have the Foreign Policy Institute and uh, Foreign Affairs, the think tank uh, magazine of the World Policy Organization. And all these are very expensive operations. And uh, so they're all run by very trusted and faithful employees, and they do their job every day. They're at the office every day. They don't uh, uh, run out on you. They don't rat on you or anything. They're dependable. And they have that job for as long as they live, and they know that. So they do their jobs, and uh, they do whatever they're told. And it doesn't matter how goofy it is. You can do something as goofy as uh, invading Iraq on the basis of information about uh, WMDs that do not exist, weapons of mass destruction, uh, and get away with it. Because uh, these people are accustomed to doing really goofy things that nobody would, in their right mind would believe in one minute. And that they're very serious about it, and they have the background. They're, they were, are people like president of Harvard University or president of Yale University. Are, uh, uh, they use a lot of corporate presidents, like the, uh, the Aluminum Company of America president, and people like that, General Motors president, who have stature, and they can do or say anything, and nobody challenges them whatsoever. And that's what uh, reputations are for. They're for people they can use. For instance, I've been a world-known author for 50 years, and yet my name is almost completely unknown, except it's all over the Internet, because on the Internet they have no control. But in the, in the world media, on television, you'll never see me on television, because I've told people repeatedly that when you see anybody face appear on your television, that means that that person is totally safe and totally owned by the uh, establishment.